Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are in an anti-gravity section in the Swapper. So, if I remember correctly... Right, right, shooting... Trying to teleport with our gun causes us to move a little bit. Kind of an interesting mechanic. We have to get through all this debris and rubble. Whichever way is down, is down for the camera as well, which is interesting. <laughs> it's rotating the whole map, that's cool. Another mine so long all along, going round and round and round and round. <laughs> uh... Okay, this direction. There we go. We're out of that anti-gravity section, and on to more puzzles, it seems. So we've got a console, and we've got a couple mysterious rock samples, an unexplored hatch. How many... 13 orbs. <laughs> I literally just killed myself because I wasn't looking where I was going. Okay, apparently it's deadly down there, so let's, uh... Let's do that. The truth is... We're all in danger. Come meet me at Mine Sci and I'll explain. You have to gain access to the high security labs first. <laughs> okay, so. This should be pretty simple. We just need two more orbs, but... I'm assuming there's gonna be... more than enough. Ooh, this is a big room. Look at this. I wonder what this all is. There's a memory terminal up there. So let's try and go up first. Oh, come on. There we go. Abundant natural mineral deposits, space station thesis in orbit since 201 years, notable discoveries include a more durable steel amalgam, and an alien life form similar to an Earth silkworm. Primary research in recent years has been focused on what have come to be termed the Watchers, highly complex rock formations of unknown origin. Analysis of samples on board thesis has revealed unusual electrochemical activity within the structures, which may suggest something resembling rudimentary intelligence. There's some more of the game's storyline for you. Let's go in this room first. Just because we're here. Okay, so it's up there. What's the deal with this? Oh, so that's just a way to kill clones that we don't want anymore, I guess. Okay, so, we could get a guy in here, but we couldn't swap to them. So let's- let's start here. Actually, no, let's- let's, uh, let's get a guy up here, swap to it, and we'll get rid of these two. Then... we'll go up... Here. And we can't shoot through that. Oh, interesting. We'll do that, right? We're out of clones now, though. So if we switch... Okay, so if we switch to this one... Oh, why did I do that? <laughs> let's- let's set this up again. Let's see... we can do that... Uh, 
Okay. Then we switch to this one. Do that, and... Wait. What turns off... What turns off the blue light? Oh, we don't need the blue light to be turned off. Ta-da! We just had to get rid of the extra clones. When we first discovered them on Cory, we thought the Watchers were dumb slabs of rock. It took years of study to accept that they were alive. Not like we are, of course. They have no physical senses, no moving parts. Still, I find it hard not to wonder, can an electrical impulse in a rock really be considered a thought? Ah, <laughs> it takes some time to travel. That's what threw me off. Let's do this top left puzzle next. Interesting. That does that. Does that... Right, we can't switch through that. We need both of these to be... Okay. Let's reset these guys. Oh, that's not what we need to do. Come on. <laughs> that's also not what I wanted to do. That turns off that light. But we want both of the lights to be turned off. going to do this. Both lights to be off in order to swap over there. And we can't swap to these guys. Oh, I thought that was the... <laughs> I thought that was the clone. Slide right off the edges, huh? Oops, nope, wrong key. Don't do that, please. Yeah, there's that. But how do I walk them all the way over there? Ah! And 
That's how. Oops. <laughs> now we can do it. Ta-da! Okay, so there's something right below us. Is this working? Looks like it is. Can we go to... where was it? Is it way down here? Ah, no, it's right here. Wait, what happened to the... the yeah, the console's still there. I still want to go there, though. Oh, I have to right-click. Okay. I want to see what this console says. Oh, that just... Okay, that's just a shortcut. Maybe because I changed my swap key, it, it interferes with the... which key you use for the teleport, because I changed it to right-click. That's my right-click. But it was originally left-click. Here's the rock here. There was a time long ago when the chain was full and fruitful, then the mines like yours joined, and the rest fell silent. So yeah, they don't understand that they were moved away from the other rocks. Interesting. What is going on here? Oh. <laughs> Literally that simple, huh? Okay, I was overcomplicating it. So, we have 22 orbs and we only need 15. Kinda like Professor Layton in that respect. I haven't really actually played a Professor Layton game, but I remember helping my sister with many a puzzle when she played them. <laughs> I always do that. I keep forgetting there's fall damage in this game. Okay. Dramatic. You read. Good. The only access to Einstein now is via gravity control. From where you are, you should be able to access an airlock. You're going to have to take a spacewalk across the station exterior. What is thought? I think I know. It must have rules. We may not see the nomina, but we surely know they are the cause of the thoughts. Interesting. Some of us have grown crazy. Everything there is, is thought. So we can't go over here yet. Obstacle, yeah. But, we've done pretty much everything, so let's- let's proceed. Oh, this is a big room. Long distance teleport machine memory terminal. This morning, the last senior crew member disengaged the lockdown on the high security labs and relocated us all here. The labs are well shielded and the doors are sealed tight. Everyone's hoping we've not been followed here by whatever it is that's killing us. Interesting. Let's go left. This is where we developed the device in your hands. 
We looked at the way the watches communicate and built a delivery system for it. To be frank with you, we didn't know what on earth it was at first. It turns out it swaps people's souls about. The swapper. Oh, that's uh okay. That's just a normal teleporter, huh? Oh my goodness. <laughs> There's a lot of puzzles here. We don't even know where we're going. So there's a mysterious box table down here. I guess we'll go look at that. And then we'll go top left. How long has it been like this, and not like the Great Chain before? I don't actually know. So I said we would go top left, right? <laughs> Discovering what the Swapper did was easy. Our new research priority is to work out how. I believe that it is synthesizing some part of the Watcher's telepathic communication. Somehow it is able to relocate a raw consciousness while leaving the physical body intact. To understand the device, and perhaps consciousness itself, we must understand the Watchers. Okay. Uh, what's this? Oops, wrong key. Okay, so we can create... We can access this area, but we can't swap to it from here. Oops, wrong key again. What does this do? Interesting. Okay, that wasn't too hard. Let's try bottom left. Ah, okay. Interesting. How... Oh! Oops. That's right. If we fall from this height, do they die? Yes, okay, good. Oh, I died too, by mistake. Let's try that one more time. <laughs> swap to it first. Uh, I keep forgetting to swap. <laughs> Wasn't creating a clone for some reason. Oh wait, I don't need to hold E.
No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Well, I think you've seen enough fail enough of me failing for this episode, so join me in the next episode where we will continue this. If you liked this episode, leave a like. If you don't like the sound of my voice, leave a dislike. It's up to you. And I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.